Well, then I will go ahead and say hello, everyone. Welcome to the Stream Void Podcast, episode 141. Holy. Holy is right. Crazy. Yes. I am Mikey T, and of course, across from me is Curb Stomp. You can Hi. find us everywhere under our respected monikers. Yes, sir. And you are listening to the Stream Void Podcast. This is a show about life and video games and everything in between. It is. And it's been like 20 episodes since I mentioned that it was that it's uh, September the 10th. Oh, wow. The date. <laughs> oh, it's the day <laughs> before 9-11. Oh, my God. It is the day before 9-11. Never forget. Never forget. It's my cousin's birthday, so I'll never forget. <laughs> there you go. She's the only cousin I know her birthday is because it's on 9-11. <laughs> uh, speaking of forgetting, uh-huh. how was your week? Speaking of forgetting. Was it forgettable? Oh, my week? No, actually, it was unforgettable. <laughs> unforgettable? Well, you know, you go, you get a doctor's appointment and you oh, yeah. do all that stuff. So it's uh, my doctor's appointment finally happened after waiting for... Well, I made it like 10 days beforehand, basically. Yep, yep. So it finally happened, and then he did his poking and prodding. And he was like, ah, you should get an x-ray on your chest. Oh, oh cool. hello. Yeah, so, okay. And then he kept asking me if I smoked. <laughs> so I'm just like, uh, no, I don't. I've said it like three times. Are you sure? Do you smoke? Well, it's just like, am I going to die of lung cancer? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep asking me this question? Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, it's so. like you technically you do smoke. Well, with I mean, all the smoke in the air, yeah, it's exactly. Been ridiculous, but yeah, that's that's weird. So, anyways, it ended up being clear, anyways. But um, free and clear lungs. That's that's all you can hope for, really. Yeah, he thinks I probably had pneumonia. Oh, but it's just naturally gone its course. Longnomia now. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Um. So he basically was like, take it easy. If you have coughing attacks or whatever, just relax. Yep. And if it um, starts to get worse again, let me know. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Classic. Just the whole let me know. Yeah. So I was like, okay, sounds good. And then, uh, so yeah, it was, you know, at work, just working. Missed. I didn't go to work on Friday. Mm-hmm. And I only did like part of a day on Wednesday. Just, I don't know, because. <laughs> Why not? Oh, wait, Thursday, I mean, I was in the office. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thursday, I didn't stay all day. I left. Ah, uh, yes. She was like, are you working still? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, well, maybe you should wait. <laughs> like, well, maybe you should not. So I was like, okay. But when I found back everything was okay, it was kind of like whatever. Yeah, that's good. And, uh. That was pretty much it for work. Oh, I sprained my ankle massively at work. That too. <laughs> on the Wednesday. Yeah. I, uh, oh my gosh. I was working with frozen food and the way our freezers are. So, oh my God, the company I work for sometimes, it's just like, why you do stuff like this? So we had a freezer container on asphalt. They just put it right down on the asphalt and the asphalt is just like on top of like, the dirt which is like silt basically you yeah know? so the the container sunk into the asphalt <laughs> yeah so you couldn't open the door so th- <laughs> they had to just scrap scrape out like a crescent shaped thing in the asphalt to let the door open right <laughs> yeah and that worked a bit you could open the door like wide enough so you could like slide in there basically <laughs> barely get in right yeah so then like last winter we were getting another freezer moved in. So while the guy was moving that, he made the guy lift up the other freezer full so he could put four by fours underneath it to pop prop it up, right? Yeah, yeah. So then it sat above the ground and you could open the door and everything. But they never fixed the fucking hole in the ground, right? No. So there's a crescent shaped hole. <laughs> so anyways, I was putting this frozen in the freezer and I just somehow stepped out. And I didn't, like I know it's there or whatever, but you know. I just step out wrong and I put my foot just right on the edge of the hole and I thought I broke my ankle. Yeah. <laughs> like I like my vision got dark and I was like, oh my fucking God. You heard the mad pop? No, I didn't hear any popping or anything, but it just hurt so much. And I was like, oh my fucking God. So then I, you know, relaxed a bit and I was like, okay, it doesn't hurt that bad. It's all right. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'll just take it slow today, work, you know, whatever, slower than usual. And I was hobbling around doing my work. 
And it was fine throughout the day. It hurt, you know, whatever. And then the day's over and I go home and, you know, relaxing after work, sitting down. And I was like, I should get some dinner. And then I got up and I'm like, I can't walk now. <laughs> it's like, I don't even think I can climb the stairs to go upstairs. So I managed to like somehow get upstairs and then going back down, it was even worse. So I was like, what the fuck? So then the next day when I woke up, I had to walk to the doctor's office <laughs> and I, I was like, am I going to have to take a cab to get there? Like, cause I have to go for my, you know, my cough and everything like that. Thankfully, it was okay walking. It was pretty fine. Yeah. But it's more like if I'm walking straight up and down, it's pretty well fine. It's just if it gets any like sort of bend to it, you know, then it's like, oh, my God, I'm going to die here. But uh, yeah, it was okay. But I never noticed how like inflamed it was till I was at work. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I hurt my ankle yesterday. And like the woman I work with looked at it and was like, oh, my God, it's this one right here. And I was like, what? Yeah, it is. And she's like. I'm like, how did you tell? And she's like, it's like twice as big as the other one. <laughs> and it still is. And then I looked and I'm like, oh, it is. And yeah, it still is now. And I didn't even think about it. Like when I was putting my shoes on, I don't untie them. I just sort of slide them yeah. on. And the left one, I was like, ah, fuck, it won't go on today. <laughs> like, what's going on here? <laughs> so my foot's all inflamed too. So it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it looks pretty rough. Did you yeah, did yeah. you report to your super immediate supervisor for a WCB? Uh, I'm going to do that like tomorrow, I think. Cause I didn't even think about it when I was at work. The woman that saw it was just like, did you fill in a form? And I was like, I, I did not. <laughs> She's like, well, if you miss any work for it, like tomorrow, like you're, you're not going to be in work. And I was like, well, that's cause of my, I'm going to the x-ray, whatever, you know, yeah. that's not because of that. And she's like, well, you know, maybe you should get that x-ray. And I was like, okay, I'll hold it up to my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Just do a little double. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> anyways, whatever. It was, it was an interesting week. Anyways. Yeah, it's still it's still significantly noticeable <laughs> the yeah. size difference in your ankles I'll right be, now. I'll be taking it easy, anyways. When I'm at the warehouse tomorrow. Yeah. Not lifting anything too super crazy. No. I don't think you need a cane. I got a I got a cane over there in the other room. You can take uh, hobble no. around. I'm okay. I don't oh, think okay. I need a cane. <laughs> I'll be okay. I should have played it up though. Like I broke it. I could have got some time off work. Yeah. Paid time. Damn, I fucked up. Yes, you did. Oh, I don't know if they would really even want me to do WCB if it came to that. They'd probably just pay me. Yeah, probably. Because they don't want WCB over there. Because <laughs> they'd be like, oh, you can't do this. And what's this? And you can't do this. What is going on here? Not that it's like um, you're going to die from anything, but it's yeah. like, oh, no one's wearing steel toes here. Oh, okay. Safety regs are a little bit lax. Where's the harness for the lifter? <laughs> oh, Okay. <laughs> Uh, why are all your shelves bent? <laughs> <laughs> so they'd probably just be like, yeah, we'll just, we'll just pay you. Yeah. Because so. WCB will come and be like, eh, yeah, you're shut down. Basically. You're shut down. It's not life threatening anything, but it's just like a lot of little things. Yeah. Because like, I don't think the forklifts have any beepers on them either. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there's like lots of things. <laughs> you get a pretty Actually, good. they might have... They might have lights on them, like reverse lights. Yeah. That was the main thing hmm. for backing up. Anyways, yeah, so that was my work week. There you go. What about you? Uh, it was a short week, which uh, is nice. Oh, yeah, that's Labor right. It weekend. was a short week. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, the wife wanted to go fishing on Monday, so I was like, okay, oh, yeah. I'll take. And she wanted to go to Valley View, and I was like, oh. Like the river? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Salmon Just, uh, fishing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Too close, too close, too close to town. You can't do it too close to town. No, <laughs> but yeah, I, I dropped her off in Valley View. Oh, is it not in the reg the area? Yeah, oh, yeah. And it was face, and I was on Facebook, and my buddy Rob's like, "Hey, I'm at work doing haircuts today." So I was like, "Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm in Valley View right now. I'll nice. go and get a haircut." Nice. And he's like, "Oh man, you got to come see me sooner." <laughs> so I'm like, "Well, <laughs> we work weird hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We work the same time." And he's like, "Ah, just call me." Just call me. I'll come over. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> we got to do every six weeks. Very good. Can't go any longer than that. And I'm like, oh, good, good. That's good. Yeah, no kidding. But yeah, it was like first, it was like the last day of before back to school. Oh, yeah. And so it was just, I walked in there, there was nobody there. And as soon as I sat down, it was just like kids. Oh, just yeah. Just kids for days in yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. So I got a powered, powered in, powered out. It was pretty good. Nice. Yeah. And then work. Work was, you know. It just kind of was work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're uh, 
we're firing up a, a night cut in salmon arm. So we have to put in some cable and cut people out of service during the night to redo it. Oh yeah. Cause the shut-ins are going to be pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> well, there's a new, there's a new d- subdivision going in and the way they have the cable right now, there's a, a two by two by eight or two by 10 with a V notch cut out of it, holding the cable up high enough so that the trucks can get in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's just like a, big bowed piece of wood yeah. making the cables high enough I'm like oh okay nice okay yeah. ingenuity yeah at work so we went there to try and pull the cable in all the managers because we're low on people mm-hmm. and uh yeah we're there trying to pull the cable in and we're waiting on our flagging and flagging doesn't show up we're like perfect hey, where's our flag and they're like oh uh let me try and find them hours go by they're like yeah don't know where they are so they just never showed they up? just never showed up so we drove to salmon arm and drove back so the flagging company fucked you up. Yeah. So like what happens when that happens with a flagging company? Do you go to them and like, here's the bill for lost time and wages and you owe us this? Or do they just I don't go, know. Eh. I don't, I don't, we'll I don't know exactly how it works. Time. Next yeah. time we'll send a flagger. Yeah, we're hoping they're going to send flaggers tomorrow because mm-hmm. they need to send us a morning crew and then a night crew. And if the night crew doesn't show up, it's like, oh, they well. have one job. <laughs> yeah. All you got to do is stand there and make sure nobody kills us. Yeah. <laughs> wow yeah if they don't show up it's gonna be a big issue yeah no kidding because uh when you cut somebody out of service there there are two types of uh uh procedures for that there's there's one where you're it's called a threat and you're just going into a splice case mm-hmm. you got to let people know that hey you're working in here people might get cut out of service yeah, yeah. it's not it's not what we're planning on doing but it might but happen. it might happen and there's a there, it, that, that's a five-day window to get that approved. Whereas a release, mm-hmm. that's where you're definitely cutting people out of service and you have to do it at nighttime. You usually have a four hour window to do it. <laughs> and uh, that's a four week procedure to get that. Approved. Oh my God. So and you have flag- to do it on the day, right? And you have to do it on the day. There's no window. Yeah, yeah. It's that day only. Oh my God. So a lot of the times when we do it, we're cutting out what we're, what is called transport fiber. And that's city to city. So that keeps the cities up and running. Yeah, yeah. That's usually when it happens. But this is just residential fiber. So we're just cutting out a couple homes here and there, not an entire community. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's not too big of an issue. We have an eight hour window to do it. But uh, yeah. As long as the flaggers show up. As long up. as the flaggers show up. Good gravy. Yes. That's cool. Uh, Yeah, the electricians finished everything up. So I've been patching the house back together. Nice. I got a bunch of drywall I need to sand up now. Well, drywall pit, putty, drywall spackling. Oh, yeah. Sand up, repaint. God, it's not fun. fun. Oh, <laughs> it's not fun. I meant not fun. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> it's not fun. And I've got my car for sale in the old, on the old Facebook. Ah. And the amount of scam people I get messaging me is unreal. Oh, yeah? They do the standard, like, uh, is this still available thing? And mm-hmm. so I do the standard back, just one button. Yes, it's still available. Are you still interested? No, nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. But the way Facebook does car sales is that you, the car, the description is automatically generated by Facebook. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it's year, car make, and uh, that's it. And you can't put anything else in there. And I'm like, well, I would like to put in that this car needs work. Yeah. So that people don't click it if they know, know it needs work. Yeah. Because there's been a lot of people out there like, hey, like actual people messaging me. And they're like, hey, how much? Uh, the blah, blah, blah. Can I come and see it? And I'm like, did you read the description? They're like, just did. Not interested. <laughs> <laughs> like, just read the description first before you message me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that all right? Can you do that? Exactly. That'd be great. Nah, people don't know how to read. <laughs> no. We have, uh, and in regards to the business, we're almost on our business plan. Ooh. We're hoping we're going to be able to apply for our loan next week. Nice. Have you already talked to the bank? Not yet. Oh, okay. We've been talking to Community Futures right now. Oh, okay. And they're, we're going to go to a bank first because banks have better interest rates. Mm-hmm. Community Futures is like, a, it's up, it's like double, oh, yeah. double interest rates. But Community Futures also takes higher risk loans. Uh-huh. Puts out higher risk loans. And I think we'll be guaranteed to get one from them. But we're going to go to a bank first and see if we can do that. I see. Just working through the rest of our cash flow stuff. We only got a couple more pages to go. Mm. And then uh, uh, Nine Arsons has been graciously proofreading everything. Oh, fun. Which has been absolutely fabulous. We'll pay them back in like a, a box or a or something. <laughs> <laughs> box of magic. Yeah. Yeah. 
that'll be that'll be good. Nice. Uh, other than that, been uh, randomly playing Dave the Diver, and that game just keeps it just keeps getting more and more. But they just keep adding stuff to it. Like as in updates or as in just more stuff to do in just, the game? There's just more stuff to do in the game. They're not adding it. It's already there. But the more I yeah. play it, the more it unlocks, right? Yeah, yeah. So every time they're like, oh, here's this new piece of equipment to get to this area. Here's this oh, new yeah. piece of equipment to do this. And it's then like Castlevania. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the menu is your cell phone. And mm-hmm. so you do everything off of there. And it's just, oh, there's all these icons on there that are locked at the start. All the apps. And then you can they just slowly unlock apps and stuff like that. Uh, you can upgrade your weapons, but I still haven't unlocked that yet. Cause there's all these like parts I get from big fish that are like, Oh, you can upgrade your weapon with this part. I'm like, great. When, when does this unlock? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's weird that it would tell you that without mm, telling you how to do it. Yeah. I, I don't think I've unlocked it yet. Interesting. Yeah. I've got a lot of, a lot of sushi bits on the go though. <laughs> so much sushi. So much sushi. I've hired staff now. It's oh, great. Wow. I'm like, oh my God, you mean I need to pour pour the green tea and the beer myself and serve everybody? Yep. But I finally unlocked staff. Nice. And I figured out that, oh, you can upgrade your staff. And they unlock skills. It's like, oh, now my staff can pour beer. Now oh. my staff can pour the green tea. It's the never ending grind. It is the never ending <laughs> grind. And all I do is <laughs> clean the clean the dishes up perfect i hired one staff member who's a ninja oh yeah their stats were like one serving one cleaning one pouring yeah. just one and then i started leveling them up and now their stats are just jacked jacked up so i'm wondering what their second they each staff has two skills so i'm wondering what her second skill is gonna be the first one was tea pouring but like what's gonna be the second because she's technically a ninja you have to level her up and then you find it yeah yeah okay. yeah she's technically a ninja so interesting mm. and you can run like ad campaigns to try and get more staff in <laughs> <laughs> like i'm gonna go with the ninja this reminds me of game dev story a little bit except yeah. game dev story was all like you don't actually do anything in it you just say like i'm gonna make a game oh yeah yeah and then that's the end then of you it. go it's an action game no, no, no action game. No action game? No. Oh. No, you'll be just assigned your programmer and your graphics guy and then do advertising and name your new system and that's it. There's uh, no game yes. action gameplay. Hmm. Yeah. Weird. But you hire different programmers and stuff. So. Yeah. I know in, in like Game Dev Tycoon. Oh, yeah. You do all that. You're like, it's going to be this kind of a game. It's going to be called this. It's going to have yeah. these elements. I wish I remembered the names I gave my games. <laughs> they had stupid names like Donut Story and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Uh, one of the Splicers has started playing Vintage Story. Oh, nice. And he's like, this is the game, man. Oh, yeah. This is so good. Oh, yeah. He's like, this is, I would, if, if Minecraft was this, I'd just play it all the time. Yeah, like, yeah. The only thing with that is all the rift stuff I don't really like. The rift stuff? Well, when the little enemies spawn and the rifts and everything like that. Oh. Because the fighting in that game is not really very good. <laughs> no. And it's just also just seems kind of pointless. Hmm. Like, if there was no enemies in the game, I think it'd be better because it's such a grind on its own. Yeah. So, I mean, by enemies, I mean like the demon, like wolves and all that stuff. That's fine. That's fine. It's just the but demons it's just like that come the through the demons, rift. guys. Yeah. Huh. Those I just find annoying more than anything. So, yeah, that game's crazy. It's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I like for it. Sure. Didn't you buy that game? Oh, no. no, you installed it, but didn't buy it or something like that. I can't remember. When you were playing it, I was like, man, this, this seems like a good game that I would like. Yeah, and I know. And I then think you I, installed it. I think I installed it and didn't buy it. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. Maybe I bought it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. It is uh, it's not very that possible. expensive. No. So. I just don't have time to yeah. sink into that. That one does take a lot of time. Literally, like, if you want to make, like, steel, it takes, like, hours yeah to make a steel ingot yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty good that way um i didn't really play anything besides starfield which we'll talk about yep the wolf among among us which we'll talk about it and i played uh a little bit of pokemon oh just i don't know i was just sitting there like yeah i'll play it <laughs> i'll run around i'll cap some pokemon yeah so i played some scarlet and then I played some Arceus. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Very Caught good. some Bidoofs. <laughs> <laughs> Bidoof. Yeah. Bidoof. So. Bidoof? It's Bidoof. Bidoof. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, that's really about it. Really, uh, I don't know, I'm still recovering. So yes, it's kind of like, especially like I. I mean, when I hurt my ankle, it even was a pain just to sit at the desk. Yeah. So I'd be just like, I'll just go lay down instead. Ah. Yeah. Lay down and play the old uh, console game. No, no, no. Lay down and watch American Dad. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And fall asleep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the end of it. Ah, very good. Yeah. 